cracking you too. It's your boy Jason Yamamoto and today I want to talk to you guys about a specific topic. What I want to talk to you guys about is starting a foundation, maintaining a foundation, and surpassing that foundation. I remember when I was a kid, like a little bitty kid, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way up to the age of 18. I remember that I was so energetic, man. So adventurous with life. I was willing to do anything that had to do with fitness, sports, just anything physical, right? I used to walk to school one hour a day. Sometimes I had to walk back if I couldn't catch a ride. And um, I didn't get a bus pass. So it took, it's about, from my school to the house was five miles, right? It takes usually five miles per hour to get home. That's if you were, you know, if you were fit, you know. By the time I was this little skinny Asian kid, and uh, I was a very, I was pretty weak. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't. I. Some of you guys are, may think I'm already skinny. Some of you guys, but I, I wear a size large now. Honestly, man, out of the two years I've been training and weightlifting, I went from extra small to a size large in two years. So, I'm not super buff. I have like about 16.5 inch arms. I still have a long way to go. You know, but in my opinion, you know, I've come a long way in two years. So, and my two years is coming up too, by the way. It's not like a full two years. When April 1st hits, I know April Fool's, right? It's my two year transformation, but I don't want to talk too much about that. What I'm trying to say is, you know, I was very active as a child. Did basketball, soccer, uh, martial arts, you know, just basic sports, track and field. Did everything that I could. Right? I couldn't join football because I was just too skinny. I mean, I could have, but I would have been a bench warmer, and that's not what I wanted. So, you know, essentially, I tried my best. I even got a taste of weightlifting in my soccer class when I was 16, 17 years old. And I didn't know what the purpose of weightlifting was at the time, but if I had known what it was, it would have benefited me long time, you know, for a long time. But the thing was, I quit it around that time. When I was 17 years old, I quit doing sports, I quit doing weightlifting, I quit a lot of things, right? I didn't stick to it. Why? It's because people told me I couldn't do it. I can't do it because I was too small. I was just too skinny. I was just, I wasn't what the sport was looking for, right? And I actually believed that. I really did. You know, um, some of you guys may think to yourself, you look in the mirror every day, it's like, have, did I grow yet? Did I even grow muscles? You know, you know, it, and some, you know, some people on my channel will try to uh, bring me down to their level and say, Oh, Jason, you're not making any progress. You look like shit, blah, 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 this, 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 that. But it doesn't mean I have to give up. You understand what I'm saying? It doesn't mean that I have to give up. It doesn't mean that you got to give up, right? When you start a foundation, when you start a foundation, just keep going, even if you suck balls. Even if you lose every single time, the thing is, never give up, right? This is what I'm talking about, starting a foundation. You can start anything, honestly, man, just to see if it works. If you, en if you really enjoy what you're doing, right? I just got back into, like, full fitness two to three years ago, right? Full fitness, man. Like, me going out there, running, jumping, hiking, all this other stuff. Because, you know, I said, enough is enough, man. No more excuses. There ain't nobody out there telling me I can't do it no more. I'm not surrounded by losers no more, man. I'm, a, I'm surrounded by winners. And every time I'm surrounded by winners, they always say, you can. Just got to go out there and do it. Just go out there and do it. And it finally sunk in. I'm like, you know what? I, I can do it. Because the thing is about starting a foundation, and you can start anything, like I said, the hardest part is maintaining that foundation. 
And now, here's the thing with maintaining that foundation. There's going to be negative people out there that doesn't like the fact that you are continuing with this foundation. They just hate it for some reason. They just don't want you to be successful. And that's where you have to cut connections, right? You can't associate with people who says, I can't. You can't. You can't do this. You can't do that. You just can't, can't, can't. That word, I don't like that word. Like, who fucking gave you that right to tell me that shit? Like, you know what? I don't want to be around your ass. You know what I'm saying? When you maintain a foundation, you must surround yourself with people who's either at the same level as you or a level just right above yours and try to get that person to push you to that next level. Right? And that just goes for anything that you do, man. That, talk, that means art. Music, sports, education, just anything. Associate with people who is willing to see you succeed and you helping them succeed. Because all you're going to be doing is succeeding with each other. You know what I'm saying? That comes with competition though. So you must compete. You must be a competitive person. And I know it sucks being competitive. I know it does. Because when you lose, it hits you right in the gut. It's, it's worse than getting actually getting hit in the gut. You wish you could have got hit in the gut. At least that would have felt much better than actually losing, right? But no. You're going to lose a lot. I have lost a lot. I lost a lot, man. And you know what I lost? I lost time. Time that I can't buy back. You understand that? I could have been continuously doing what I wanted continuously progress got better and everything that I did man freaking music arts sports fitness everything but I gave up you know what I'm saying because I was always surrounded by people who says you can't so with that being with that being said man when, you, when, when you're at that maintaining level, you need to surpass yourself. And the only way you surpass yourself is you have to be a competitive person, right? And being a competitive person, that means you have to lose in that thing that you do or at the most, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is you do, you have to lose in it. That way, you can see what your weaknesses are. And then you can look and say, all right, I'm going to practice on this weakness and I'm going to just move on forward, Right? But you don't ever give up. Just never give up. Just because you lose, you never give up. You don't have to give up, right? So, going back to the very first thing, right? to the very first thing when I said I was trying to explain the best way I can about starting a foundation, maintaining a foundation, and surpassing that foundation, right? It all comes down to you can do whatever you want. Just don't hang around with people who says you can't. Because in reality, you can. The minute you started, you already could. You know what I'm saying? The minute you thought that you said, you know, I could do that. You already could do it. You already can do it. The thing is, you just had to practice on it. That's just my way of trying to express that never give up. You know? I'm not trying to fix my problems through you guys. God damn, man. I'm just fun. What I'm trying to say, like I said, going back what I was saying, is you continue doing what you have to do, alright? Because at the end of the day, only you can take care of yourself. And if you're being told by one or two or numerous people, especially on YouTube, man, I get fucking random ass hate messages, just ignore it. And focus on what you can do and progress from it. Because you, honestly, you get better every day. The minute you try to do something, the next day you got you just got this much better. And the next day you're getting another, you're getting better, better, and better every day. And then if you look back from the first time you tried it, you can honestly say, you know what, I really did progress. Because I've spent time doing what I'm doing and progression is now made 
Okay, you may not progress as as gifted people, but with enough hard work, you'll be just right there with them, if not better, because you had to train harder than they did. So your mental toughness will be just that much stronger than theirs. All right, guys, it's your boy Jason Yamamoto. Hopefully, uh, you got something out of this message, and I'll talk to you guys later. Nice. 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 Nice.